Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing the Geek Fuel September 2016 box. It just finally came in and I'm really excited. Um, the box has seen some better days. It looks like someone kind of sat on it and punctured it a little bit. I think this is probably the most damaged one of my boxes has came. Usually they look a lot better than this. But, I know that there's supposed to be a Harlequin item in here, something like old school Nintendo, and uh, X-Men. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and unbox it. Okay, I'm going to cut the tape. Let me see that. Pull it aside. And this is what you're going to see. And then if we take that out, that's what you're going to see. Okay. So first off, we're going to take a look at this. This is the magazine for Geek Fuel. If anyone has ever gotten the Nintendo Power ones, this is what it's based around. The design, which is really cool. I used to read those all the time. And it's got some cool stuff in it. I'm not going to really show you guys yet. But it's even got a uh, word search in it. So this one's kind of an interactive one. It's got some cool stuff. Maybe I'll come back to it. We'll see. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Let's start with the t-shirt, because everyone is always interested in the t-shirt. Now, I... Th Looking at this, it's, it's not too bad. It is a Geek Fuel exclusive up here. It is X-Men Apocalypse here. It's got Psylocke, uh, Apocalypse, and Magneto, Beast, Professor X and Cyclops. I'm, I'm sorry that it's really hard to see all the details to it. It's really hard to get the lighting on here just right and everything. Now, I am a little bit upset with this shirt. I like the color of the material. that That's fine. I wish they had done more color to the design because when they manufacture shirts like these, the more colors used, the more they've obviously spent out on the shirt. When they use just one color like this, that means that they went as cheap as they could go on a shirt. And I like to have some extra colors added in there so you can tell things, you know, apart because sometimes you get a little bit blocky, you know, like with Professor X's eye over here, it's all just kind of blobbed. So it, I think with some extra colors added in, it would have gave some more detail to it. But it's X-Men, which is probably going to make a lot of people really extremely happy. Okay, moving on. We got this really cute Geek Fuel sticker. In last month's box, I got a pin of him. I think he's absolutely the cutest robot ever. And it's definitely one that I would like to see done as like a pop figure or something. Like a special made Geek Fuel exclusive Funko Pop or something. That'd be kind of cool, but chances are we'll never see it. And then I would get Wally and Eve and he could sit with them. Be cute. Okay. Let's see. Black Sea Odyssey. It's a downloadable Steam game. As you know, I do have a Steam account and I do play my games. And inside... We get 
according to the side of this box, you get a sticky star with it. Which is like one of those 25, 50, 25 cent, 50 cent machine items. My kids love these. It's pretty sticky. I mean, it's not like overly sticky, but to me, this kind of seems like a cheap thing. I mean, yeah, sure. I should be happy that they are even giving us an item with it, but last month we got a sheet of magnets, which was awesome. They're on my fridge. I love them. And the month before we got an air freshener, which smelled really good. And so this just kind of seems like kind of a cheap thing to give out, you know. But yeah. Moving on. Mm. Mallet of Mischief inflatable toy. And I can see if you can tell those are Harlequin's diamonds, which means that this is an inflatable Harlequin mallet. It is a Geekville exclusive. It says it's for ages 14 plus, but I can guarantee you if I inflate this, my kids will play with it. It's not going to be something for me. Kind of bummed about this. I was hoping for something a little more substantial for Harley because, let's face it, we could go and get inflatable toys like this from our Dollar Tree or during the summer festival they had ones that actually when you hit someone with it had a squeaker in it. So it would squeak every time you hit it, someone with it and it cost like three dollars so kind of feels a little bit like cheap cop out. Now, most of you probably are like, oh, inflate it, inflate it, inflate it. I will inflate it. I won't be inflating it on this video because of how I have this set up currently. So I will inflate it and I will be putting pictures of it on my Instagram. So I will share that so that you guys can see it fully inflated. I will show you one side of it says your face here and then on the other side it's got the diamonds I don't know how close necessarily this is to her hammer because I could have swore that it had like a a silly face on one side. I, I could be wrong. There's so many different versions of her hammer at this point. I don't really know. I'd have to go back and look. But yeah, I will be inflating this and taking some pictures. So you just have to look down in the description and you'll be able to find a link to w where the picture is posted. Okay. Moving on. It's got a Harlequin mark on it. I hope it's like a poster or something. That'd be nice. Mm. I like the box. I'll definitely reuse that box. What do we got? Harley's Little Black Book. Okay, hold on a second here. Let's see if I can use this thing. Um, generally, if you get anything that's rolled up, one of the tips that I've been told is you roll it uh, the opposite direction, give it a few spins, and it will lay flat. So there's a useful hack for you guys. If you get posters that are rolled up, roll them the opposite way, give them a few rubs, and then unroll it, and it's practically flat. So what we got here, it looks like Superman comic, but it, it's got Harley on it. Oh, it opens. We've got a Wonder Woman. Mm, it's really hard to fit all this in here. Um, looks like 
Like we've got Batman up here beating on the Joker. And that one's supposed to be a Batman comic front. And then there is a thing for... Sorry, like, my camera's not wanting to fit all this in. Let's see. Do, 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 do. And then we got the Justice League. It is like, um, I guess a giant coloring book, but I feel like this is something you could have did digitally as like a special digital add-on and people could have printed out if they felt like it. It is a Geek Fuel exclusive, but I don't know. I would have preferred a, a poster or a print or something like that. Especially if you're a person who doesn't have very good coloring skills. Okay. And we are getting down to the very last item. And it is a classic cutting board. And it's got the, the Geek Fuel robot. It is a Geek Fuel exclusive. I'm debating whether or not to open this. I'm going to confer with my husband. Do you think I should open this? Yes. Okay, he says to open it. I'm definitely, if we use this, I'm definitely keeping the robot thing separate. <laughs> I will add it. Ah, there we go. Okay, you slide it out, and then this lovely thing comes off. It says light knife series. It says cut on back of board, blow off after use. So you would cut on this flat side right here, the flat normal side, but the other side looks like an old fashioned game cartridge. I'm going to be completely honest here, this is the best item out of the whole entire box, and that's kind of sad. Usually there's better items, but I mean, it's, I don't know, I, I wasn't su like supremely pleased with last month's box, but when I think a cutting board that might get used, might not, I don't know is the coolest item. We're having some issues here. Um, it seems pretty good. It's pretty solid. Uh, we have a wooden cutting board and it actually split down it. It was like a bamboo one. So, and, and we didn't have it that long before it started splitting. So I'm hoping that this does better. But we'll definitely try it out, see how good it is. It's pretty solid. It's got that lumber smell. Yes, I, I was sniffing it. Uh, I like the smells of like redwoods and cedars, you know, things like that. And so I was smelling to see if it was one of those, but it is not. It just smells like the, your run-of-the-mill wood that you would smell from the lumber mill. But that is actually pretty cool. I did not have this game system or had to deal with blowing on these cartridges or anything like that when I was younger. My first system I ever owned was a PlayStation 1. So, pretty nifty. So, um, here's the card. It talks a little bit about what there was. You had the X-Men Apocalypse shirt. Oh, here's a picture of the mallet right there. But I'll still post pictures of it fully inflated. Um, the cutting board. The coloring book. And the sticky spike thing with the game. Which the game... Uh, I guess I'll read a little bit off of here. Since I didn't read off of it. It says, enter a vast chasm between space and the brimming or er, and time brimming with colossal creatures and runic technologies. Already sounding pretty cool. 
uh, once a decade, the greatest huntsmen in the universe gather to compete in a legendary tournament known as the Black Sea Odyssey. Steeped in blood, ancient treasure, and a madness that will that wills them to delve deeper into the black abyss, these huntsmen compete for a chance to claim the ultimate glory of facing a creature of such insatiable ferocity and magnanimous size that its wingspan has been said to stretch across galaxies while its breath consumes black holes. A creature rumored to exist only in legend, the Titan of the Stars. That actually sounds pretty dang cool. Kind of like the characters. So, I'm definitely going to be putting this on my Steam account once I'm done recording this video. So, that that's pretty cool. So, all in all, I pay, like, with the shipping and handling and all of that razzmatazz, I pay, like, $23 for this. I would say your value is probably in this cutting board and the game. Because I would value that game, like, at $10. I mean, I guess it and the shirt is close to tied, though. If it's only the shirt, even if it it's a heavy-duty quality, I tend to price them under $10 if they've only got a single color. Because how cheap it is to print just single-colored art. This, I could see going for, like... 12 to 15 dollars easy in like a comic book shop or you know online from a geek store you know things like that steam games even if it's just you know an indie game usually if it's something like this like a special exclusive download or something I would price it around ten dollars you know depending on how much content there is could be more the mallet like I said, three dollars. This I would give like a couple dollars for it. And the coloring book thing isn't really worth much at all. Look, like I said, it looks like something you could print off of your own printer. So I I don't feel like I got an extreme amount to this box for value. But maybe someone out there thinks that this stuff is like the most greatest thing in the world and it's better suited for them. It just was not the box for me. Because my kids are going to pop that Harley Quinn mallet like five minutes flat. So yeah. Um, in the magazine it talks a little bit about the cutting board and um uh, Got your table of contents. There's the the word search I was talking about. Sorry for the glare and the weird folding and everything. Like I said, I don't have this set up very well. There's a whole thing in here about Harley Quinn. Um, NES Classic. All of our retro dreams come true. Talks about the old system and all that and some of the the popular games like punch out and excite bike legend of zelda contra um gamer corner talks about some different games like bioshock and has ratings and everything and or not ratings but release dates then you got your page has got people who unboxed which is kind of cool. Um, this is talking about the game and all that. And then Ultimate Geek Guide. That is awesome. It is a Snorlax beanbag chair. It's $150, but that is still awesome. I do like the Guardians of the Galaxy wall decals. Don't know how well you can see those. Those are kind of cool. Oh, I like that. It's a messenger bag. It's awesome. But, yeah, I mean, 
There, there's so much cool stuff and ideas out there. I just wish that they had, you know, worked upon it. Some more geekers out there. Geek fuelers. Geekers. But, all in all, for me, this box wasn't really worth it. For others, it could be. But, I will have to say to those of you who are watching my channel because I have a few like three geek fuel videos now with this one included that we are saying goodbye to the subscription for now we may come back to it at a later time when it has a theme that we might really like but since our three month subscription it was set to renew for this next month we postponed it and everything you know canceled it and we're trying out some new stuff so stay tuned for some new stuff coming up next month I'm hoping you guys will really like it and hoping to bring some new subscribers to my channel as well so if you are interested in signing up for the geek fuel I will put a link down below and you can go ahead and take it on over to their site and you can sign up for it but otherwise that's pretty much it just an empty box I will say I do like when boxes do these little wrapping things that's one thing I did like about their box is the wrapping that kept the mystery a little bit longer so if you want to see more content, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Like I said, there will be some new stuff available coming up this next month. I'm really excited. And I hope that you guys stick around and watch some more videos. So, until next time, see ya.